a lot had been said by people consigning how the church synagogue came into being some people questioned my foundation my mentor my educational background and my calling as a man of God I am not showing this documentary because people questioned my foundation my background my mentor my educational background my calling as a man of God I am showing is because it is God's time that is it is out of God stay blessed and wash this is prophet TB Joshua at a prayer mountain guided by the Holy Spirit prophet TB Joshua came to this prayer mountain to seek the face of God like prophets of old he fasted and prayed for 40 days and 40 nights as prayer and fasting opens the door for God to enter it was at this very prayer mountain that prophet TB Joshua received divine anointing from God to start his ministry as he raises his arm to heaven and then falls prostrate into pray he received a covenant from God concerning his calling only he and God know the divine message that was revealed to him at that moment concerning this experience prophet tb joshua said i was in a trance for three consecutive days then i saw a hand that pointed a bible to my heart and the bible entered my heart and my former heart immersed with the bible immediately then the awareness came and i saw the apostles and prophets of old with someone who I could not see his head because he was tall to the heaven and suspended, which I believe was our Lord Jesus Christ sitting in their midst. I also saw myself in their midst. After a while, I saw a hand of the same tall man. I could not behold his face, which was glittering with an unimaginable light. But other apostles I could see their faces, particularly apostles Peter and Paul prophets Moses, Elijah, and others. Their names were boldly written on their chest. I heard a voice saying, I am your God. I am giving you a divine commission to go and carry out the work of the Heavenly Father. At the same time, the same hand of the tall man gave me a small cross and a big Bible, bigger than the one that entered my heart, with a promise that as I keep pressing in his time and name, I will be given a bigger cross. But if I fail, the opposite will occur. I also heard a voice of the same tall man. I could not see his head, saying, I am the Lord your God, who was and who is. Jesus Christ, giving orders to all the apostles and prophets, the same voice said to me, I would show you the wonderful ways I would reveal myself through you in teaching, preaching, miracles, signs and wonders for the salvation of souls. Since then, I have been receiving in my vision every year, according to my faithfulness to God, a bigger cross that means to me more responsibilities. The Bible that entered my heart symbolized spirit and life. The Holy Spirit. God's word is spirit and life. He does nothing without his word. The book of Romans 8.16 says, God's spirit joins himself to our spirit to declare that we are children of God. This divine anointing is performed by God himself on all who have the wonderful privilege of becoming his children. 
It accompanies the conversion of those who trust in Christ. Paul said that the Spirit indwells every believer and His presence is the guarantee of our future glory in heaven, according to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21 to 22. As a result of this indwelling presence, we have the ability to become more like Christ in accordance with 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17 to 18. We who are born of God have no excuse of remaining as we are. We can be increasingly conformed to the image of Christ by yielding ourselves to God's anointing, the Holy Spirit, who dwells in our hearts. Father, thank you for your Spirit. Fill us with his love and power. Change us into Christ's own image, day by day and hour by hour. Remember, the Father gave us the Spirit to make us like His Son. Our picture on Chairman Man is great to buy any of us. Chairman, we are talking about the people of the world, other countries, what we are doing. Yes, at that time I will not have time for all this. The man of God said that by the time the glory of God is revealed in his ministry and people from other countries start coming, he will no longer have the time to visit this prayer mountain, and that in the future he will have his own prayer mountain. This is a picture of Prophet T.B. Joshua praying for people after just having returned from a 40-day and 40-night fast at the prayer mountain.